Hey guys, it's Andy here. Now, I hope you're a fan of retro video games and string, because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this... Sorry? How to create this awesome string picture. Nice! It's very simple to make, and all the materials are very easy to come by, so you should have no problem doing this at home. So yeah, let's do it. So for this project, you'll need some sort of wooden board to support the nails. I decided to use this large chopping board which I picked up at the local homeware store. You'll also need some nails, here you can see I'm using standard 25mm nails. In the end, I only used about one pack of these. And finally, you'll need some string or wool. I decided to use this neon green wool as it's cheap and it fits best for that retro Space Invader vibe. I began by printing off an A4 picture of a Space Invader and then cut it out to use as a stencil. I used some tack to stick down the design to the board. I made sure everything was centred using a ruler. And once it was in place, I used the ruler to help draw around the design. Once I had the outline of the Space Invader, it was time to add some nails. I hammered in the nails along the lines trying to keep an equal amount of space in between. Don't worry if you make a slight error, as you can always use the hammer to realign the nail. After a whole bunch of hammer time, it began to take shape. There we go. I then measured and hammered in four nails around the outer corners. I also hammered in four nails in between the outer nails, but measured them so they were closer to the design. There we go. Then it was time to add the string. I simply tied a double knot around the first outer nail, and then trimmed it down. You can always use a bit of hot glue to make sure it doesn't come unravelled. I began by threading the wool as far as it would reach to the top left of the design. As you can see, as I'm threading, I'm trying to keep the spaces in between the wool as equal as possible. I kept threading the wool until it reached as far as it could reach on the opposite side. I then tied a knot and trimmed it down. I then repeated this process for the four remaining outer corners. That's that done. Then it was time to do the same for those inner nails. Nearly there now. And finally it's done. With the inner section, I used smaller separate lengths of string to follow with the outer lines as closely as possible. Once I'd done that, I then threaded the wool all the way around the design to neaten it up. Just need to fill in the eyes. And we're done. Nice. Very simple to make, yet looks very cool. So there we have it, how to make an awesome picture using string. 
Don't forget to check out my new t-shirt design from the link below. It's available for 4 more days, so if you want to get one, get a hurry on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below. And other than that, I'll see you next time.